everybody. We're right back at it. This time, we're breaking down college football, Big Ten college. So join us on the Boss and the Saw show right now. Let's go. We're going to Penn State, Nitty Lions. And let's talk about this team right there. Now, Penn State is in a wonderful spot right here. They're uh, ranked just below the top 25, which is good for a lot of teams. If you really think about it on a big level, whenever they come out ranked, the last 10 teams, you can either go far down or far up. So rank 26 keeps the media out your face, gives you time to focus on your team, and gives you a little time in the season to move up to one of those top spots. Now, the question will still remain at quarterback with Penn State but they do retain a good, return a good old line. Now, the defense returns seniors at defensive line, linebacker, and section, secondary, which should keep the defense solid. Now, Penn State draws a decent schedule, but will need to win four out of five road games to come away with a decent season right here. Well, Big Ragu, what you think about this Penn State team? Penn State is coached by James. Remember when he came on the scene a few years ago, Nobody knew who this uh, this Poindexter looking guy was going to be, you know. He and in his very first year, is pretty successful with a lot of great players that he turned out to the draft. Now, Penn State used to be known as linebacker U for a long, long time, and they still are a pretty solid squad. They make some noise in the division every year. They're just a tad below Ohio State and and uh, and Michigan. They they did lose Trace McSorley, you know, that their senior quarterback, like you said. Um, and nationally speaking, on the um, on the offensive side of the ball, uh, they're right. They're ranked like uh, 13th on uh, defense. Excuse me, they're ranked 15th on defense and 38th on offense. On a, and then on the turnover margin, they're they're ranked 114th. So they're really not getting the job done on turnovers. But you know they do play they do play solid uh, football in the conference. They're ranked like third in the conference on defense. And like fourth on offense, so they're kind of like a middle, not a middle of the road team, just a, above average, but just below really, really good. So they, they got, like you said, in a, in a low pressure spot. They're, they're ranked like below the top twenty-five. So this team could be a quiet team, you know, gel as a team and make some noise in the conference and, and get some key Ws and maybe you know crack that top twenty-five after the third or fourth week. Now, coming in off a of nine and four season which they lost to Ohio State, Michigan State, at Michigan, and Kentucky in the bowl game. That's not bad. You know, you can't win them all. If you're going to lose, lose to the top competition. But this year, like I said, five road games, let's count them out. At Maryland, at Iowa, at Michigan State, at Minnesota, and also at Ohio State, which they're going to have to win at least four or five out of those. And – do well at home in order to come back with more than nine wins for the season. <clears throat> this team right here is a must-watch team. I got them down for nine wins for 2019. Any last words on Penn State, Big Ragu? Yeah, I mean, the way these teams set their schedules up, and most of them do the same thing. Early in the season, you know, they, they schedule their first two cupcakes. You know, some teams not so much, but most teams do. And uh, usually they'll schedule three games at a conference, and they try to schedule them as Ws uh, to kind of get themselves tuned up. But I'm looking at Penn State, and uh, overall probably as a, a nine and three, or maybe an eight and four team if they if they get tripped up somewhere along the line. And of course, with three out of conference wins, you got Idaho, uh, Buffalo, and then they got to play uh, they play Rutgers late in the year, which Rutgers is a doormat basically. But that's that's about it. You know, so those three, three, three games right there, I see easy W's for Penn State. Well, there it is right there. Penn State, I got nine wins. Big Greg got nine wins. Nine wins it is. Penn State, 2019 preview right here on the Boston The Sauce Show, and we out of here. <laughs>